name is Kabir M. Yakasoy, a participant for the TechZilla Hotkey Conference 2017. Let's move to the next slide. Yeah, Mr. Kabiru, please go ahead. Yeah. I'm presenting on environmental and public health impact of poor solid waste disposal in Kano Metropolis, Nigeria. This is a presentation outline, the introduction, the summary, so what, the background, the method for the study, result, conclusion, and further steps. So in summary, the main findings in these studies cover the following. It's a descriptive cross-sectional study conducted in Kano between July and September 2017. As you can see from the findings, 75% of, uh, of the resident practices open dumping as disposal option, which has negative impact on public health and the environment. However, in summary, majority 65% disposes waste within 5 to 10 minutes. 80% 80.7% 80 disposed waste at unapproved disposal sites. 79% are keeping waste indoors. These are considered as factors that can lead to poor solid waste disposal and has a significant impact on, uh, impact on public health and environment. 96% of the residents has good perception about problems of poor solid waste disposal. 77.5% have good awareness about implications for living closer to disposal sites and 53.1% has mentioned diseases associated with poor solid waste disposal. The study will contribute in the pool of knowledge for understanding how to tackle problems of poor solid waste disposal as it has impact on planning and implementation for tackling such issues. This is a very important landmark contribution to environmental and public health services. So in summary from this, you can see as per the research questions that was designed in this study to find out about what are the practices with regards to different disposal options and also what are the factors associated with poor solid waste disposal and what respondents uh, perceptions with regards to poor solid waste disposal. So if we can go from the next slide, so what? Uh, poor solid waste disposal false threat to the environment and public health that can lead to the transmission of environmental related diseases or other diseases so, of which are epidemic form diseases and the like. The study is relevant as stated below because it will contribute in the pool of scientific knowledge about the impact of poor solid waste disposal and public health as well as to the environment. However, this study can contribute in the need for reviewing existing policy for solid waste disposal issues at national and local government uh, level in the country. The study can contribute in planning cost-effective interventions that can reduce morbidity and mortality due to the impact of poor solid waste disposal and its impact on the environment. So from the background, the population of Kano Metropolis is increasing due to urbanization, a rising living standard and rapid development in technology. All this contributes in the increased bulk, the amount and the variety of solid waste generated by domestic, industrial, and other activities, etc. 
Improper solid waste disposal in Kano metropolis leads to substantial negative environmental impact. For example, the pollution of air, the pollution of water, flooding, and even generation of greenhouse gases from the landfill sites. Poor solid poor collection led to unattended waste line hits, attract flies, dumping rodents, and other creatures that can easily spread diseases such as cholera, malaria, and other vector-related diseases that are of medical importance. Solid waste disposal in Kano Metropolis is presently a complex issue. Existing collection and disposal facilities are inadequate. This led to insanitary living conditions that has poor, that has impact on both public and the environment. The presentation will highlight the present situation and the reasons why for this uh, study. In this study, we employed the following methodology four steps. The study was descriptive, cross-sectional study, as I said earlier, for it is designed. Structural questionnaires were designed, pre-tested, corrected, and redistributed to the study population. The study population comprised of adults, both males and females of age 18 years of age that have knowledge with regards to solid waste disposal. Simple random sampling was applied during this study. Why? Because due to inadequate time and limited financial resources. The sample size calculated for this study was 554. Data collection was started from the DEX review, field observation, and followed by collection of primary and secondary data from sources. Data in this study was done by SPPSS by 2016. The output of the result was used to draw a conclusion in relation to the research questions, as I said earlier. The results. In the results, as per the research questions I mentioned earlier, what are the disposal options, the factors responsible for poor solid waste disposal, and what are the perceptions of poor solid waste disposal, and finally, what are the awareness on effects of living closer to waste disposal sites. For different disposal options, we can see about 403 from the sample sites where 75% practicing open dumping, followed by landfill uh, landfilling, about 8%. Incineration, 8%. And for the factors responsible for disposal options, we look at the following, the distance in trying to dispose solid waste, which majority, within five to eight minutes, they reach disposal site. But this is trying to show that as the waste is generation, people find very limited a uh, very short uh, distance to dispose waste so this can contribute in this uh, in indiscriminate disposal of uh, solid waste however we can see again some that covers 19.6 percent disposing waste within 15 to 11 to 15 minutes and on the same vein distance covers 6 to 20 minutes, we have 5.8%. So we can see how distance uh, varies based on the generated findings. For the perception of poor solid waste disposals, participants related disease with regards to poor solid waste disposal. So there is high perception that leads to 
that up to 96.3% uh, and um, followed by those that having low perceptions as 3.7%. However, on the perception with regards to four solid waste disposal that cause smoking with regards to often burning is 4.41.2%. However, on the perception that four solid waste disposal can result to flies infestations, we have uh, as per the findings 9.3%. So we can easily see from this different perceptions with regards to poor solid waste disposal. However, awareness on living closer to dump sites, living closer to dump sites has impact on public health and the environment and we can vividly see 64% of the respondents that they are having awareness about that. However, living near dump site causes illness about 501, that's 93 percent, have awareness on that. However, with regards to disease from dumping sites, as it relates to awareness, 488 respondent, which equivalent to 9.90 uh, percent. 91% approximately having awareness with regards to effects of living closer to solid waste disposal dump sites. However, with regards to other factors, you can see, as mentioned, different uh, solid waste disposal options. You can see for composting, it's only 3%, very few. Uh, Households being Kano is a metropolis area that practice composting. Similarly, with regards to daily generation or frequency for solid waste generation, you can see daily, twice, weekly, with regards to daily generations of waste. So, from the findings, on daily basis, about 55.5% of the households. On daily generation release or disposing waste and on the same band we can see from the findings 165 percent which represent 30.6 percent which dispose waste on twice in a week and the second to the last on weekly basis, we can see 58 represent 10.8, and on monthly basis, which are very few households that practice uh, such disposal on monthly uh, basis. However, on the factors contributing to solid waste disposal, as mentioned earlier, we have 1969, which represents uh, we have 429 percent, uh, 429 households that kept solid waste within indoors. Which dear Mr. Kabiru, dear Mr. Kabiru, sorry for the interrupt. Sorry for the interrupt. Please conclude your session. The, your time is getting up. Please conclude. Okay. Okay. In conclusion, there is a strong linkage between poor solid waste disposal and adverse environmental public health outcome. Broad spectrum of group of individuals are at risk of ill health and emitting from poor solid waste disposal. From the findings and discussion also, there is clear evidence that poor solid waste disposal options and associated factors such as distance, poor storage, and disposal at unapproved sites can contribute to cause negative outcome. So the result indicated good perception and awareness with regards to poor solid waste disposal in relation to transmission of diseases. Therefore, improper solid waste disposal leads to substantial negative impact. For example, pollution of the air, water, and also generation of greenhouse gases from the landfill sites. So for future steps, there is need for another similar research 
if possible, in order to address the identification and mapping of pollution sources, research to establish monitoring and evaluation program, research to ensure public awareness and participation, and however, with regard to future research, there is need for another similar research to be conducted in this area for physicochemical analysis of underground water closer to waste dump sites in order to take intervention measures early. So there is need for more research to address issues for contamination of land due to release of heavy metals from dumping sites. This can help reduce the burden of pollution.